Hello, welcome to topic three and four, current circuits making use of electricity. We will first discuss the types of circuits. The first is a series circuit. It has a single loop or one pathway for the current to flow through. An example of this are Christmas lights. When one go out, they all go out, although that's the old style, the new style are no longer a series circuit. Each red box is a device like a light bulb. There's only one direction of current. Those are resistors, so they're light. That's anything that takes up electricity, impedes the flow of electricity. Uh, there's your power source, which is the battery. The second type of circuit is our parallel circuits. These are loops within loops, so there's multiple pathways for current to flow through. Examples of things that have parallel circuits are your car, your home, a power bar. When one goes out, the others still work. There are two types of current when you plug something in. Uh, the first is DC or direct current. It typically means that electrons flow continuously in one direction. An example of direct current is a battery, so that's made up of two or more cells. I know what a battery is, but what is a cell? A cell is an electrical device that consists of two dissimilar metal electrodes and an electrolyte. So if you've taken Chemistry 30, then this is a review for you. An electrolyte is an electrically conductive solution. An electrode is just something like copper or nickel. There are two types of batteries. One is a wet cell battery. It contains two plates or electrodes immersed in a, immersed in a liquid called an electrolyte. An electrolyte most often is sulfuric acid, especially in things like car batteries. It's used by all our automobiles. Uh, wet cell batteries are both rechargeable and reusable. They usually are heavy and contain many different cells. The second type of battery is a dry cell battery. The electrolyte is a powdery paste, so you can see the powdery paste there. An example is a nickel cadmium or NICAD battery. These are recharge these can be rechargeable. When batteries are connected in series, the total voltage is equal to the voltage of each battery. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12 volts. When batteries are connected in parallel, the voltage does not add, so the voltage is the same. So you would have 4 volts, not 12, as you would in a series. What is voltage? Remember, electrical fields rely on the movement of electrons between a positively and negatively charged plate, so that's kinetic energy. Voltage is the amount of electrical potential per unit charge available for doing work. Voltage can also be defined as the difference in electrical potential energy between two locations in a circuit. Measured in volts with a voltmeter which is connected parallel to the circuit. Circuits also contain conductors which are substances that allow a free movement of electrons. Electrical fields exist around charged objects. So the electron experience an electric force when these in these fields or between two charges. This causes an acceleration of electrons. Electrical fields are unhindered in a vacuum. Electrons move from negative pole to the positive pole, so they move from negative to positive. 
the amount of charge that passes a point in a conductor per unit of time, so per second. Current, or I, is measured in amperes, which is represented by A using an ammeter connected in a series circuit. So voltmeters are connected in parallel and meters are connected in series. Conventional current versus electron flow. Electrons normally move from the negative to the positive. However, in circuit diagrams, conventional current is often used. This is the opposite of electron flow or think about which way the positive charges would be moving. Any device in a circuit that disrupts the electron flow like a bulb is a resistor. So toasters, lights, and stereos, even the wire itself could be considered a resistor. Collisions convert electrical energy to thermal energy or heat. The wire feels warm. Resistance is measured in ohms with an ohm meter. Factors affecting resistance are things like the length of the wire, longer is more resistance, the diameter of the wire, larger diameter equals low resistance. Material of wire, gold or silver plating will also reduce resistance. Calculating resistance in a series circuit, the total resistance is equal to the resistance in um, the first resistor, the second resistor, and the third resistor. In parallel, it's um, 1 over total resistance is equal to 1 over the resistance in each one of those things. These are found on page 3 of your data book. So in the series, they are directly additive and in parallel they are expressed as a fraction of the total because each one is a fraction of the total amount in a circuit. Calculate the total resistance in the following circuits. So you have one in parallel so you would be 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 3 is 9 and then 1 over 4, 1 over 3, 1 over 2 Ohm's law, voltage is equal to current times resistance. This equation is found on page 3 of your data book. Current is directly proportional to voltage as current goes up then voltage goes up. Current is inversely proportional to resistance as resistance goes up current goes down. Graphically speaking, um, you can see in this graph as voltage increases, so does the current. So slope is equal to V over R. R is resistance or the slope of that graph. In this case, you can see current going down and resistance going down. What relationship is shown here? That current is inversely proportional to resistance. So as you decrease current, you increase resistance and vice versa.